Okay, everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are going to do some, let's call it hip surgery on Nova. Uh, I think I explained in a previous video that big fooch of mine, I blew a motor here in her hip, one of the coax motors. And you can tell by how stiff it moves now, as opposed to a good motor. Okay, so... I'm not exactly sure how I did it, but I did explain in the previous video that I'm pretty sure I sent it 50 hertz power when she's set to run and is calibrated for 60 hertz. All right, so anyway, let's just dive right in and start taking her apart. I'll probably just fast forward through some of this time lapse stuff, guys, and not do too much talking in this video until we get inside of here. Okay, so now we're inside, pretty much. Uh, the body, the framework of the body, um, somebody did post a comment um, <clears throat> with regarding to my trying to get her center of gravity correct. And um, I think their name was Koji, if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope. K-O-J-I. And they suggested to elongate the body a bit looking and referring to the the real spot mini and they are correct that the real spot mini is much more elongated and i'm sure that definitely helps with with the balance more and you'll have more let's say room to play with getting your center of gravity with this model being pretty stout you're you're teetering you know what i mean try and try and balance a q-tip on your finger and then try and balance a broomstick on your finger world of difference so yes i really like that suggestion but obviously for me to elongate her body it's a full tear down electronics and all and rebuild so probably won't do that for a while um i think i've mentioned or i have mentioned maybe some of you have seen it that i'm building a smaller version of her with small sg90 size servos and for that model, I am taking that into account, and I'm going to um, elongate her body a little bit. Okay, so anyway, that being said, we're going to stick to just tearing off her rear end right now, just so I can get this leg out of there. Hopefully I can do this without removing the cover and a few other parts, but we'll see. So conveniently... You can often use her legs to hold up parts for you, too, while you're working on it. <laughs> Alright, so to take off the rear end, there are two screws in here that are holding on to each of the servos, which are the main screws, and I have added Loctite to these, so hopefully I didn't put too much and they're not too tricky to take out. Um, they are um, hex nut heads, which is very important. I suggest that because you all probably know Phillips strip very easily and you want those really tight so try and use hex nut heads for those screws so once i get those two out <clears throat> we should and then the, the two plates of the rear end are held together with two screws here and two on the underside so once we get all that out then we should be able to extract the rear end and get that motor out okay so i'll start doing that and probably time lapse this again Okay, so now the back is free, so now I have to unplug those three servos for that leg, and she should come right up. And then I'll just briefly show you how the leg is put together. So I need this one, where the hell are the other two, and these two. Okay, and now you can see this piece comes right off, and this is pretty much free now. It's just the the joint of the servo, the little brass uh, 
screw or nut or gear, whatever you want to call it. So sometimes this is a little tricky to come out, but in this case it wasn't. So now you can see I, I wire tied. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can lift her up a little bit. So I've put wire ties. I screwed a little hole into the framework and, and to hold the wires out of the way. Um, the only motor you have issues with or potential issues with is this coax movement. So when it's going like this, when she moves her arm up, I have her upside down right now. But when she moves her arm up, you can potentially pinch those wires between the motor and her body, her shoulder, which I'll show you when I flip her over in a second. So yes, I, I put the wire, t wire ties there to, to keep that from happening. Um, and actually, this is not the motor we're looking to replace them on the wrong side here. So I'll just let that one hang. Since it's wire tied there, it's all good. This is the one we want to take off and give surgery to. So that should come right out. So let's flip her over now carefully. Okay. Now I got two hands free. Okay, so yes, um, be very aware that they can potentially get pinched in there, and you'll see here this happens to be the one that I discovered that on. So I, I know I'm not going to get lucky and find that this connection just came undone. I'm sure it didn't. It's soldered. Looks like hell with the electrical tape on it, but I'm about to replace that, so woohoo! Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to cut these wire ties now to get these motors all out, which is a shame, but got to do what you got to do, right? So. so I'll worry about fishing those wires out later. I could take her this apart as it is because they are in there pretty good. I think I may even have another wire tie inside of there. So anyway, yeah. These legs, once you have to assemble them foot forward, basically, and once that's done, you can't get to anything else without going the opposite way. Lucky for me, this is the motor I'm replacing, so I do not have to break this all down, so I'm not going to. Um, it's really a shame because I have been meaning to rebuild her completely and use the new, newly designed or altered parts that I've made, which really is just a few cosmetic things. I, I made this joint a little bit stronger, um, and then I put a wire chase up here. These black ones that are on there now, I just glued a piece of PLA on there that I just made a little loop just to keep them nice. So anyway, I yeah, it, it's quite a project to tear the whole thing down. So I think I'm going to work on, like I was talking about earlier, the elongating her body. And when, when I if that seems to work out nicely, then I'll do a full rebuild of her. But anyhow, let's move on and take her apart. So the first thing you have to do is obviously, and the only thing I have to do in this case, is remove this one motor and I should be... Okay, so just for a little assembly advice, a couple of things. Um, the bearings should fit on those posts that are 3D printed really well, and orientation of the 3D prints is really important. Uh, in this case, yes, it would seem most logical since there's a, a stem po pointing up out of this piece where that bearing sits, that you would want to 3D print it that way, so the stem would just go straight up, no supports required. However, if you have experience with 3D printing, that's the worst orientation for any cylindrical or any type stick type shape object because it'll snap very easily in this direction, right with the layers, the printing layers. So any kind of protrusion, let's call it, you always kind of want to print it uh, horizontal. Even if it puts support under it, that's life, that's you're better off. And to be honest, support under this little knob here is great because when you break it off, it leaves a tiny bit of plastic underneath the circle, the peg, let's call it. And then when you put the bearing on, that little bit of plastic there gives you a nice snug fit. So, yeah, orientation of all the um, prints is very important, which is something you never see and, and hardly anybody suggests it on their Thingiverse uh, projects and such. So today, in fact, I was considering when I was playing around with... Um, Tinkercad of doing 
a video on, on orientating all of these parts, how I best chose how to do it, and then my printer settings. So anyway, that being said, this is as far as I'm going to go, as far as the surgery goes, because she's just going to get this motor replaced, and then I'm going to reverse assemble it the same way I just did, and she should be good. Um, but again, if you have to go further and assembling, you have to go in this order. So next to come off would be this piece, then that motor, then these pieces are a little tricky to not so much take apart, but when you're putting these two together, they have to align with the bearing and with the servo horn and the way they slot together and to get these wires chased up through my little hole here so i, I created this problem <laughs> the original design just had the wires coming up here and out but i didn't like that so but it, they go together really well and when they do it fits nice and tight and seamless and this one screw basically holds it all together which is keeping the pressure on on here as well in addition to obviously the bearing and another stud and the bolt on the other end okay so yeah that'll do it for this video guys um my next video i think i'm going to review the motor code finally since she'll be back up and running and i also went ahead and opened up my github so i'll put a link to it in the description uh read the readme uh, this code was not written for public consumption so good luck to you and use at your own risk all right everybody thanks